What's up, everybody? Welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time here to see Sir Valor Sachs. Now, I got some special news for you because I only just found out that approximately 25 years ago, way back in 1997, Marvel had a TV show. Yeah, like Marvel Comics with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they had a TV show that featured a jazz saxophone player from San Francisco, California, that gets struck by lightning and gets superpowers. Are you serious? Yes, and I'm gonna tell you right now, the reason why you never heard of it is because it's terrible. Oh man, it is a special kind of terrible, but I am loving this show. This Nightman character, he's like a cross between like Batman the Dark Knight and the greatest American hero. <laughs> they have this gimmick where every episode they like feature some kind of cameo from Taylor Dane, like Taylor to my heart, her, uh, Little Richard, Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, Donald Trump is in an episode of this Marvel saxophone superhero TV show from the 1990s. At any rate, let's get to how bad this thing really is. But the whole reason why I'm even talking about it is because the music is actually really good, man. Who knew? All right, let's do it. Johnny Domino was one of San Francisco's hottest jazz musicians, but fate and a cosmic phenomenon were about to change his fate forever. What the doctors told him seemed impossible. John, your brain has acquired the capacity to pick up certain frequencies, like a radio. But Doc, I'm only hearing bad stuff. Yes, exactly. You're tuned to the frequency of evil. So if you've been following me for a while, you know there's three things that I like. I like a high of sharp key on my saxophone. I like playing high notes. And I have a special love affair for really bad movies and really bad TV shows. Some of my favorites are Small Wonder from the 1980s with the little robot girl. <laughs> oh man, wow. The special effects, really, it's what makes the show endearing. The Greatest American Hero, another one that's got... Oh, man, it's hard to defend these shows, but I like them. And yes, I bought all the DVDs that were available for them. <laughs> and this show, Nightman, that came out in 1997, it is working its way right up there for the same reasons. Just, I mean, wow. All right. So like two minutes ago, I just said that Donald Trump was in this show, but I kind of lied. He's not in this show. What they did was green screen him from wherever he was and paste him into this show. And I'm telling you right now, the green screen is awful. If you could step over to my desk, that would be really great. You're a assistant to... Oh, it's so much fun to watch these kind of terrible movies and terrible TV shows, man. <laughs> Oh, really? This is unbelievable. Are you serious? Come on, man. One of my favorite things to do is hear stuff completely out of context. Like, for example, you watch an old show that's got some famous people in it, but they're more famous for doing something diabolical now. And then you go back and watch that show and like hear how their dialogue reflects the stuff from now. Like for example, every time Bill Cosby offers somebody a drink in the Cosby show. <laughs> so um, check out this line. Sure looks like it, man. It's not. Wait a minute, someone's hiring lookalikes to commit crimes? Makes sense to use someone like him to rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently Nightman was a character from Malibu Comics from the Ultraverse that was later acquired by Marvel 
and then brought into Marvel's Ultraverse or something like this that they had. But from what I've been gathering, the comic book was not much better than the TV show. I think there were a few good issues of the comic book, but mostly it was just weird and strange and it jumped around. The artwork was really, really good for a few of the first ones and then it just got kind of lazy. Hopefully they don't do that with the TV show with the music, but it's pretty intriguing that there's like a jazz saxophonist from San Francisco that goes out and just fights crime. And it's it's full of all the kind of stuff that you generally find with like these gumshoe detective cop type shows. It's got all the minor six nines and all that stuff in it. Definitely has a saxophone. I did a video not too long ago, about a year ago, just talking about my favorite saxophone TV shows and how a great majority of them were all like cop shows. At any rate, over this holiday season, if you find yourself bored and you just want to entertain yourself with something completely nonsensical, this really hits the spot. But if you want to work on your tone, you want to work on your saxophone sound, I do have available my saxophone sound development book. All of these are digital. I also have my All Things Diminished book. I have my uh, Altissimo book for alto and also my Altissimo book for tenor saxophone that is available on PayHip as a digital purchase. If you like this kind of stuff and you want to support the channel, ladies and gentlemen, you can buy me a piece of cake. It's like a Kickstarter, Patreon type of thing. Every little bit helps to grow the channel and bring you this kind of content. I really like the soprano saxophone sound from this show. It's got that real cutting edge type of nightlife detective thing going that's really popular with all these shows for some reason. <laughs> Spoiler alert, for those of you who want to watch this episode, I'm going to just kind of give it away in reference to the thumbnail. So you guys remember in Terminator 2, spoiler alert for Terminator 2. So spoiler alert for this episode and also Terminator 2, if you haven't seen it, click off now, whatever. But at the end of Terminator 2, when the liquid Terminator man gets like thrown in that lava and he changes like back into all those different faces that he changed into. Something like this, I was hoping was going to happen for this episode. So Nightman actually throws the bad guy off this bridge. And I was really hoping on the way down, he changed into all those faces. And then you see like Trump just like. <laughs> but at any rate, um, I just have a love affair with all these like really ridiculous TV shows and movies. This is on Tubi. You can get Tubi for free with commercials. It's on YouTube. And also I have a Amazon affiliate account. I'll post a link for all of that also, and you can sign up for Amazon Prime, go through their free trial and all that stuff. Check out my link at the bottom for that. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. See ya!